Hey Aquarius and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me for your October 2018 channel messages from spirit. So um, this is for sun, moon, rising and Venus. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Every message isn't for you. So take what fits, leave what don't and make sure you check out your other signs. So um, while I was meditating on your guys' sign and your situations um, and channeling what messages the... Um, divine have for you. I kept seeing the number eight. Um, with the number eight, it just wants you to know that life isn't always about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself and you have infinite possibilities of what you can create right now. Um, you guys are all at different levels of, um, putting your life back together, um, to reaching goals, um, you know, to in a, in a very positive relationship. I mean, you guys are just all at different levels, but there's always, um, infinite possibilities at your fingertips to create and make the life that you want it to be. So don't give up hope. Don't give up faith. Um, just set your goals and keep trudging towards those, no matter how hard it is. And I know sometimes that is easier said than done, but, um, you also have your angels around you, by you, near you, um, ready to help you. Um, just make sure you ask the angels don't step in until you, um, specifically ask for them to help you. So remember you always have them at your disposal and, um, they're just waiting in the wings, waiting to help you. So ask for help if you, um, so need to, or so choose. Um, for some of you, somebody is coming in to help you. Um, this is some kind of like counsel. They're going to help you. Um, whether it be in the, like a lawyer or somebody like that, they're coming in to help you, um, with an issue that you're having surrounding, your finances, children, um, something along those lines. So you could be going through a divorce or a custody battle or trying to get child support set, something along those lines. It is an air sign female who is going to come in and help you, guide you, show you, and lead you ultimately to positive results. Um, some of you are uh, have a lot of anxiety about this. A lot of your nerves are just building on top of each other. Um, just breathe, stay calm. It's all going to work out for you. Some of you, um, someone's coming into your life. Um, this is in the form of like some, a potential lover or <clears throat> partner. This person's really going to show you your worth. Um, you know, people around you tell you how great you are, how wonderful you are, how much they love you all the time. But this person's going to step in and it's going to take on a whole new meaning. They're truly going to show you um, and make you feel so amazing, so incredible, um, and you so deserve this because you are totally worth it. Um, for some of you, you're, you're dealing with somebody in your space that this is somebody that you already know that you have been with in the past or a friend, you know, friend, lover, family, somebody wants your forgiveness. Um, somebody hurt you pretty bad in the past and they're back and want you, um, to forgive them. This is of course, totally up to you, your choice, but, um, forgiveness isn't always about them. It's always about you though. Forgive them for you, how you need to do it, how you need to process it. Don't let, um, anybody tell you what you should do, who you should forgive or move forward. Cause there's some of you that there's like family in your ear, like, Oh, well you need to forgive him. You know, like, no, you don't forgive people on your own time, your own watch and for your own reasons. Um, but this person is wanting, um, some forgiveness. Um, some of you guys are having a hard time, uh, with these downloads that are coming in for you. Um, you're getting very emotional. You're finding yourself crying for no reason. Um, you get angry, like at the drop of a dime, like just emotions that are not typically 
how you handle things, how um, you are. Uh, that is because your energy is trying to, or your body is trying to take on this new energy, these new downloads that you're receiving. Um, just make sure you're grounding yourself, meditating, and that'll help a lot. Also, make sure you're getting adequate sleep at night because um, I see some of you um, could use some more sleep, and that will also help that. Um, some of you... Uh, Some of you are holding a lot of guilt, um, sadness over something that happened in the past. I mean, like you're really holding on to this, um, stressing out about it, anxiety, um, about something that you had done wrong. Um, release that. Forgive yourself. I mean, it's to the point where it's causing you migraines, cluster headaches. Um, everybody makes mistakes. Uh, the best apology to somebody is learning from those mistakes and not doing it again to anyone else or whatever the situation was. Um, but we can't go back and undo it. So forgive yourself for that. It's okay. Um, everybody makes mistakes. Uh, for some of you, you're dealing with, uh, you're dealing with a Libra or you were, yeah. You, um, you just ended a relationship with a Libra. This was a very toxic relationship, a very, um, controlling relationship. You are letting that relationship go. You're walking away from it. Um, it's ended. They're going to try to return by the end of October. Stand your ground, stand up for yourself. Um, and trust, trust your intuition because everything in your body is screaming no, but you're considering, um, well, maybe they really are sorry or, you know, whatever the situation is, um, trust your intuition. This was a toxic relationship and, um, and you did the right thing by walking away from it. For some of you, um, you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Yeah. Sagittarius or a cancer. Um, either you block them or they blocked you. No warning, nothing. It was just, done. Uh, there was, um, yeah, there was like, uh, one of them or one of them, either you or them was like playing the victim role all the time, playing that victim card all the time. It's like, you know, I don't even have an example for that. They were just dramatically using this victim role all the time to try to lure you back in, to try to get you back. Um, you know, Oh, I'm baby. I'm sorry. I didn't call you last night. I stubbed my toe and I was in so much pain. Well, so you couldn't pick up a phone and call me like something like that. You know, like they, yeah, they like tried to excuse their inaction in the relationship based on something that happened to them. Um, Bye bye. Uh, that is the best thing you did. I've seen for the majority of you, you did, you blocked this person from your life. Um, I'm seeing Sagittarius and Cancer really heavy. Uh, they have some growing up to do before um, a relationship could come into fruition. And I see you telling the, this person that. Um, yeah, they're. Uh, for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who cheated on you in the past. Um, they're back. They want another relationship with you. They want forgiveness from you. And you are very leery. Um, they're making you all sorts of promises that it, it's not going to happen this time. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, They still have a lot of healing to do. Um, I do believe that they have ended the third party. I do believe that um, they are truly sorry. They do truly love you, but they need to heal from the ending of that long-term commitment that they are coming from. Um, I don't believe they will cheat on you in the future. I don't believe that this will happen again. I believe uh, it took almost losing you for them to end it with that other person. 
Um, so I do feel this will be a successful relationship in the future, but right now they need to heal. They need to, uh, close up those wounds. So then they're not bringing that relationship into your guys's and projecting then onto you what, um, they had just escaped from. So, um, I do believe that their intentions are, are good. They aren't going to cheat again, but they do still need to heal before you guys jump into a serious relationship. And you're asking yourself, can I trust this? Is this the real deal this time? Like it feels like it, but my head's telling me one thing. My heart's telling me another, um, just take it slow and allow them to heal a little bit before, um, it gets to be a serious commitment. For some of you, you guys are dealing with an earth sign. Um, you're trying to make it work. Um, I do feel that this relationship for this group of you, it is wor worth working out. It is worth putting in the extra effort um, to make this relationship work. You possibly have children with the, this person. Um, there was a lot of things that happened in the past between the two of you. Um, but at the end of the day, everybody goes through hurdles in a relationship. And this relationship is a soulmate uh, feel. So I do feel that it is worth working on. Um, just, uh, you got to both have trust in each other. Um, I see that trust issues are really kind of pulling you guys back and forth, back and forth. Um, I think, yeah, back and forth. I'm seeing tug, like tug of war almost like you're being pulled in two different directions. Um, this relationship will be successful if you both so choose to work on it and move forward. Um, for some of you, uh, you're having communication with somebody new. It's, you know, it's kind of, uh, exciting. It's got that fresh feeling that, you know, those first couple dates jitters. Um, yeah, this is a life partner that you have recently met. Um, in the beginning of September, you are meeting this person. You've communicated like through text messages a lot, phone calls, um, like Facebook, social medias. Uh, you've had a lot of back and forth communication, but you've only seen each other once or twice since meeting this person. Um, if this it pertains to you, this is a life partner for you. This person was sent here to show you um, what real love is, what real love feels like, how it feels to be treated like a wonderful human being that you are. Um, this person is great for you. Uh, take it slow like you're doing and enjoy every single moment of it because they're going to be here for the long haul. Um, for some of you, you guys are uh, facing financial issues. Um, there's there's a delay in work or delay in funding for some reason. Um, and it's causing you more and more financial issues. I see some of you taking out loans, um, borrowing money from family, things like that. This financial issue is going to improve by the end of October, beginning of November. Um, for those of you who are looking for work, you're, um, keep putting your application, your resume out there because you are going to get a call the third week of October. By the end of October, you're actually going to have two different job offers to choose from. Um, so that's very positive for you guys. Um, for those of you who are working, but your finances are just building or your financial issues. Uh, yeah, I see you guys having to take out a loan. It is going to get better. It's going to work out. Um, yeah, you're, it's going to, um, yeah, it's going to be resolved by the end of the year. Um, you just may have to get a loan in the meantime. For those of you um, who are in a third party, somebody's making a decision. Somebody's making a choice. One of the three is going to be heartbroken. Obviously there's always somebody that gets hurt in a third party situation. Um, if you're dealing with a cancer, a Leo, a Pisces, a Taurus or a Capricorn. They're more than likely picking you or you are picking that sign. Um, 
in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Yeah, you guys are going to be able to get over the hurt of being the third party um, and move this relationship forward. Uh, it's advised that you don't keep bringing in past hurts into a current fight or argument or whatever, you know, disagreement. Um, leave the past in the past. Start over with a clean slate. And um, this relationship is going to manifest into a beautiful, uh, beautiful family unit for you. So, and if you are the one that is not getting chosen, um, it's okay too. It's time to spend, take a step back, take time for you, concentrate on you, make you number one and, um, begin that healing process. For some of you, there's a lot of anxiety coming in around a fire sign. Um, I keep seeing Sagittarius really heavy and Leo. There's a lot of anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. It's like mounting up. Um, they're coming back to make you a love offer. Um, this could have been a cheating scenario as well. Um, some of you are closing the door on it and saying you should have knew what you had when you had it. Um, some of you are um, going to take a leap of faith with this person. Um, make sure that they know what you want, what you need and what you expect out of this relationship. And if they are not willing to, um, meet the bar that you put, that you raise, um, don't be scared to tell them so because you deserve to be treated amazingly. And, um, this fire sign needs to know it. Um, they need to know what you want and expect. For some of you, you have a twin flame returning, um, very heavy cancer, uh, yeah, very, very prominent cancer twin is coming back into your life. Um, the, these people are returning. Um, they are wanting a reunion with you. Um, and you guys will reconcile on your terms. Um, you are setting the, the pace you are making, the final choice of whether you want this relationship to move forward or not. Um, you both have healed in the most amazing way and it will be successful this time around. They will not leave this relationship again. Um, if that's what you're fearing, if you're fearing them taking off again, I don't see it. Um, Some of you are also dealing with a Scorpio twin flame. Um, it looks like you're in that beginning stage of the journey. You are not talking to them. You are not um, seeing them, conversing with them in any way. There is no communication. You've been blocked um, and they just took off with no reason. This uh, is the beginning of the runner chaser. Um, if you know about twin flames, if not, go ahead and look it up and it will clearly display what you are going through. Um, pretty much. So, uh, the vibration of the two of you were, was so, um, strong that they had to take off. You guys are now in the part of your journey where you are to focus on you and your healing because the two of you had to separate to walk your own paths of healing in order to come back together whole. Um, you can't heal in a relationship with them. Um, a lot of times these are scars and wounds from past relationships, from past lives. Uh, the harder you chase after them, the faster they will run. So the best thing to do now is just to go within, to start um, working on yourself, start rebuilding yourself, healing those past wounds um, that weren't necessarily healed in the most, um, efficient way or, you know, uh, yeah. So just work on you. They will return. They will return in 2019. Um, I know that seems forever away, but it's only two or three months. Um, for another group of you who are in separation from a Scorpio who have been in this journey for six months or longer, they are returning in November. Um, they're just going to unblock you one day and reach out to you. Um, but those of you who 
uh, that this has just happened. They just recently blocked you within the last couple months. Um, it's going to take a couple months for you two to both get to a place where you guys will start communicating again. Don't give up. Never give up hope. They will return as soon as you heal and deal with all the issues um, yourself and then them as well. Uh, for some of you, you have closure coming in. Something is going full circle for you. Um, yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, something something is coming to a resolve. Um, something within a relationship, uh, it's, it's coming full circle. Um, all these difficulties that you have been facing, that you have been going through, um, it's given you growth. It's given you expansion. It's given you a way to blossom and, and become a better version of yourself through all your hard work and it's now coming, the rewards are coming back around for you. Um, some of you need to, uh, let go, let go of holding on so tight to something, let go of that, con the control, let go, let it flow. And, um, and you will be able then to get out of that, uh, self-induced limitations that you have placed on yourself. Um, because you think it has to, uh, like the outcome has to be a certain way. So, um, once you let go and go with the flow, you'll be amazed at how quick things start coming in for you. Um, for some of you, the 12th is a very, very important date. This has something to do with, um, uh, repairing family relationships. Um, this could be with parents, siblings, grandparents, children, um, this day is going to, uh, bring the two of you together and you're, you'll be able to talk it out, to figure it out and heal these issues that some of you have been dealing with for years. Um, some of you are dealing with a Capricorn who you are in separation from. This person has worked very hard. They are returning to you as well. Um, yeah, these are life partners for a lot of you, uh, some of you have new love coming in by the end of the month. These are people you've never met before. Yeah. These are going to be fun relationships. They're going to allow you to see the, the fun side of relationships. See the, the joy you can spend with somebody. Because sometimes um, we get so stuck in the routine and the patterns of waiting for someone to return or, um, you know, in that relationship where it's just kind of strained, uh, this person is going to bring, uh, a new fresh look to everything, breathe fresh air, um, into the, into your life. So that is super exciting. That'll come in by the end of October. Uh, for some of you who are super single and looking for love, that is also coming in for you as well. Um, this is a water sign water or earth. Yeah. Um, this person is going to, um, come in. You, it'll start out as a friendship first, but quickly, um, within a couple meetings of each other, turn into something more serious. So, uh, get out there, mingle, um, go to those Halloween parties. Um, the next important date for you guys is the 23rd, 24th, in those couple of days, you guys are going to get a major download. Um, yeah, so make sure you're getting plenty of rest those nights. Um, and keep a dream journal. Those nights that you wake up, um, the those two nights when you wake up in the morning, journal whatever you dreamt. Uh, for some of you, there's going to be some important messages in there for you from your angels. So that is awesome. The last important date I have for you guys is Halloween, the 31st. Um, this is when the veil between the realms is at its thinnest. And um, you guys are going to be able to, your intuition is just going to be on point that day. Uh, some of you are receiving guidance from 
a lost family member. They are your angel. They are guiding you, leading you. Um, and they are going to make it very well apparent on Halloween that it is them that they have been with you, guiding you in whatever form that may be. Um, it's different for all of you, but you will know when it happens that that's what is happening. Um, Halloween is just like my all time favorite holiday. For some of you, um, it's time to let fall happen and move into the winter, um, which means it's time to let everything fall away. Everything that is dead and no longer um, providing you that green energy, that life energy, um, it's time to let that go. Time to let everything purge that isn't for your greatest good. And then take a step back and in the month or in the winter months, it's time for you to rejuvenate. Take time for you. Center on you. Focus on you. Pamper you. Um, spoil you. Whatever you want to do that is for you. Um, go for it. Take a break from all this drama. Take a break from trying to please everybody but yourself. You guys keep giving and giving and giving and um, not always uh, receiving the return energy. So you guys are feeling drained, depleted. Um, tired. So uh, it's never a bad thing to take time for yourself. Um, yeah, some of you guys are moving, it looks like across country or across to a different country. You're moving a long ways away. Um, you have a lot of anxiety about this, a lot of uh, like you just feel butterflies in your stomach every time you think about it that you don't know if you're excited or you're going to puke. It's going to be okay. This is the right move for you. Um, you are going to find much success uh, in many areas of your life making this move. Um, you have many blessings waiting for you. This move itself is a blessing. So um, take it and enjoy it. Uh, and congratulations for those of you who are moving for a job promotion. Uh, it's, this is a big promotion, a big move, and it's well-deserved. So congratulations on that. Some of you I see are getting pregnant in the month of October. So if you don't want a baby, make sure you're protecting yourself. Because you guys are very fertile this month. Um, some of you, you're dealing with somebody externally to you that is just bringing you down. They are just sucking your energy. Uh, don't be afraid to cut this person out of your life. Um, I mean, you don't have to do it meanly, but take a step away from them. Um, they, they really are draining all your energy and you just keep giving and giving and giving. Um, yeah, take it back for yourself. If they're not providing equal amount of energy in this exchange, then um, it's time to take a step back. Um, some of you, uh, you're talking to someone in heaven. There's somebody that you have lost and, and you, uh, yeah, you talk to them when, at night, like laying in bed before you fall asleep. Um, they want you to know they hear you and to keep talking to them. Uh, they, they enjoy it. They are answering you back, but you just aren't seeing it just yet, but you will. Um, they come to you in your dreams and they watch over you every night. So they wanted you to know that, um, this is a, a woman, um, probably in her sixties. Uh, sorry if you're older than that or younger than that. <laughs> um, very beautiful, sparkly eyes, um, is who this person is for. Maybe just be one of you, but, um, she truly enjoys it. It's a mother type feeling. So it's either your mother or your grandmother for whoever this person is out there that this woman is talking to. Um, yeah, she wants you to know because you're having a hard time uh, with her not being there. So um, for some of you, um, you're having uh, troubles with children. Um they're not sleeping at night. They're always in your room wanting to crawl in bed with you. You always find them on the couch. Um, this person is, or this child is, um, is scared. They possibly, uh, have told you, you know, there's a monster in my room. It's scary in my room. Uh, they are seeing spirits. 
they are very intuitive. They're just not old enough or very perceptive. They're just not old enough to tell you, I'm seeing a spirit. I'm seeing a ghost. Uh, it will help your small children uh, if you pray to your higher power, however you speak to the universe um, at night. Just uh, if they're not old enough to talk, say it for them. But if they're old enough to talk, all you have to say is, okay, so for example, my kid's name is Betty. So just have them uh, pray, pray with you. Um, you know, dear, you know, Heavenly Father, please baptize Betty in the white light of the Holy Spirit and protect her all night long. And um, that will help this um, keep them from trying to approach her. And they're not trying to scare her. They just know that she can see them. So they're trying to get her to help them, you know, whatever they're trying. They're, you know, in between their lost souls. So um, they're not trying to scare your child, but it is scaring your child. Also, let them sleep with a, like a little nightlight or a lamp on. Um, yeah, just make sure you say that prayer with them. And they could be 15 years old. You know, just have them say that prayer of protection. Um, and it will help to um, just ask, ask the universe not to uh, let her see, hear, or feel anything that is not of this realm. Okay. Um, yeah, for some of you, you are um, dealing with older children. I'm seeing 20, 22, around there. Um, they are starting to see uh, spirits, apparitions, um, and they are also frightened. Uh, they can, all they have to do is um, ask them to to leave and not return that you cannot and will not help them. Um, if that's what they want to do, if they want to embrace this, um, have them pray and, uh, to, to pray to their spirit guides, um, not to the, the spirits themselves pray to their spirit guides to help protect and filter out any negative dark or, um, malicious, spirit and that will keep those ones that aren't always so nice away but make sure they're praying to their spirit guides the angels will filter out uh what's coming in and out all right guys i think that's all i have for you um i hope you guys have a beautiful month some of you um seem to be be going through that struggle of the just breaking up in the relationships the runner chaser um you're the one that's blocking some people. It is going to get better. By the end of October, um, you're going to see a huge turnaround. Uh, people are coming back wanting your forgiveness. That is your choice if you want to move it back into a relationship with them. There's relationships that'll, that'll make it if you put in the work. You guys are just all over the spectrum. That's what I was saying in the beginning. So that is all I have for you guys, though. I hope you enjoyed your messages. I hope you have an amazing October. And happy Halloween.